Come on in. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, doing more anatomist starts, I think, is the plan. Random stuff. Dancing skeletons. All the things. I'm really tempted to slash slap Iron Man on as well, just so I don't have to auto save. So I don't have to manually save. And I think we're gonna run that seed that we started last time because I liked the seed. Which was U I Q C O Y new subscriber Q I C. It fills you with determination. Hey Shek, thanks for the prime sub. Alright. All right, so we did learn some things from our last run. We learned that these guys take a while to get going before any 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 power level from their background is slow to get added, which is fine. It means the most exciting part about them is going to be the different builds we can do with their additions. But that does mean that the start is going to be a pretty standard um, go fight raider start as soon as we can make that happen. So, let's go do those types of things. Oh, master work. All right, three missions. Isengrab has cutthroats, bandits, and highwaymen. I wonder if this actually means anything. Where's Isengrab? There. Because that's kind of what we're looking for. Cutthroat, vandals, and highwaymen. Anyway. Uh, what else? People. Cheap caravan hand with a sharp dagger. It's a raider. Ooh, that is tempting. That is a militiaman. Which is not a great background, but it's a fine starting background. With a billhook. Is this the tier two one? I mean, it's certainly not a pitchfork, so I guess it is. That's pretty tempting. Get a good reach weapon to start with. And what are the missions? Looking at, go find a thing in the bottomless pits. Uh, we do get objectives, right? Pretty sure bottomless pits are right here, so that one should be fairly easy. Good morning, dehydrogenase. Where's this one going? Day to the east to Schneefels. Which is not a day to the east. Uh, you have returned. Okay. Let's get this bread. Bread. Filthy love, thanks for streaming today, less than three. Let's get the bread. All right, bread acquired. Thanks to Risa Fajaner, welcome back. And where is this? Also, same location. All right, uh, I think we're hiring this militiaman. Hat and a reach weapon might just be good enough. Sweaty handles. Welcome back. Thanks to reset. All right. Uh, got these brothers too. And remind me, is there a trade good here? Why did we like this seed? There was a reason I liked the seed. We do have north south access. And this area looked okay for raiders. Especially Albic. And it wasn't insanely far to get to that from here. Hello, Gospoda Noob. Alright, so we started this last time and it was alright. 
The thing we, and oh, there's good trade good down here too. The problem we ran into was we weren't finding enough raiders uh, early enough. We are going out of our way to go after beasts for the potions, which would make sense from the anatomist start, but it turns out the anatomist start is irrelevant till later. So we won't be doing that. All right, let's grab the militiamen, I think. All right, hate for beasts, death wish, 57, five, double star, double star with the reach weapon. Yes, fucking please. And get ourselves a runner. A little tempted by this three, 390 caravan hand with the sharp dagger. I would love to have some money left over for some trade goods. We're hiring this uh, beggar. Do I splurge on this guy or keep something like a net instead? 230 for a cheaper dagger and a net is pretty appealing. 270 for a similar deal. All right, I think we're here to start with. Let's grab the bottomless pit mission. Do I have mods in channel yet? Probably not. Okay. Good look. Don't know what's there. Seems unlikely we can handle anything. Zombies in a swamp are fine, but zombies in a swamp with a necro are impossible. We've got a faint-hearted dastard. It's funny. It's both these guys rolled pretty poorly. Okay. Do mobile mods count? Uh, just need people to interact with the donations. So the who have access to the uh, the roster essentially. What we're looking for how do the travels go you know standard stuff delayed on the way down delayed on the way back sitting on the runway for extended periods of time that kind of garbage i should be selling that too let's go here I'd like to get there before nightfall cool all right what do these sell for enough needs to be more than what these others sell for. Buy for, rather. Did not mean to eat any of those. Two fifty-two tools. All right. So we're gonna take this one and go up to Schneefels, I think. I do need to equip my people if we're ever going to do any fighting, but at the moment, probably not. Okay. Mr. Buster Friendly. Thanks for sub. Praise the sub. Eyes and grab. All right. Could you take a quick poke over here? I don't really want to be going up that direction, but. It's a full day. I don't know if that was worth. All right, raided and terrified villagers. Barbarians to the east. All right, so two go kill thing missions here. Northwest, no, burn it down. Yeah, I know, we've just been talking about that. You have returned. Oh, I dynamite. Dynamite, I guess. Hey, Tragic Booty, thanks for the resub. All right, there is a 
reasonably priced caravan hand with some 80 armor and a 120 gambler, both good here. How's the food here? What food? I don't know if fighting barbs early is good for us or not. They tend to be way worse than thugs and raiders. Their weapons kind of suck. They have ranged weapons always. But the the ones with no armor tend to die pretty quickly. All right, um, I need, do I have mods? Because I need roles, I need names. Alright, he's always content to be in reserve, right? So we'll leave him out. Hello, Nobu. Good morning. Thank you. Read some great books on the uh, the flights back and forth. Read uh, Andy Weir's um, new one, which I liked quite a bit. And I read, um, God, his name, Adrian something or another. He's written um, a series I really enjoy. I thought was good as well. No names on the list? Okay. Good to know. Then everyone is unnamed until we get them named in a minute. All right, we've got some great brothers, right? So we'd like to not lose everyone right off the bat. Although, what am I going to do about that? I have no real fucking idea. 64, 58. Fifty-five HP. Oops, I just did that backwards. Yeah, that's the guy, Freckles. Adrian, I have no idea how to say that. Check a voice ski or something like that. No, it definitely is, Kaiser. Definitely is. Really like his stuff. Anyways, I thought um I thought this one was a improvement over his last series too. Same as the composer. <laughs> You've reached the limit of my cultural knowledge, mate. All right. We guys want to do uh, barbs or um, ghouls? I think we want to do barbs first. Okay. Oh, that's really far away. Bond of friendship or discover. Oh, we don't want to plunder. Okay. A kind gesture. Reporting for duty. Who's that? Music cat. Thanks for the five bucks. I'll slap you on what I think is probably one of the better characters here. Cool. Okay. Seen news about multiplayer in Celasta. I haven't. Has Celasta gotten any better? All right. I can vendor the books. Weird. <laughs> Leaving these warhounds around is super bad for us. Murder. All right, so we've got scary thralls in melee range with people. But I guess we want that. A 
kind gesture. My smisses. Once more into the breach. All right, so we traded off the fisherman for the win. Grab some food, not as much as I was hoping. Weapons are great for us. Picked up another spear, which is great here. Thank you, Tragic Booty, for the five bucks as well. Okay. The naked guy is meant to tank. No, generally it's meant to split the enemy forces here. Because of the dogs, we weren't able, really able to do that. All right. Switch our weapons over to something a little bit more reasonable. Okay. Alright, first mission done. No longer ambush trade routes. Do we have any food yet? Still no. Alright, we're light on food. We could go do the other mission, which is totally reasonable, but not very exciting. Or we could get out of here. We don't want to be fighting non-humanoids to begin with. And I'm pretty sure the first one is Disturbed Cemetery, which some of the time they're nachos, right? Thanks, Carpenter's Arm. Xanabu, Music Cat, and Tragic Booty. Okay. So uh, as a quick update to the start, um, I think... The way we play this is essentially just a very standard uh, anti-humanoid start because I think all the things that are impactful about these guys don't really show up till later. So, thanks later. All right, we happy with this stuff pretty much? I can just vendor these books entirely and it doesn't make any difference. And I get four inventory slots back. That'd be nice. Okay. So I think while it's still daytime, we want to hit this next city. I'd love to get some trade goods going, but these are still not a good price. Will they stay there forever or no? Like, why do I have them? It is kind of cool to be able to track them, but... Literally just sell them, huh? All right. I mean, the inventory space back will be good. All right, let's go here. Need to go south. All right, what do we've got in here? 960 Wildman. It's not super cheap. Okay. So Weaponsmith in here. He's got some nice stuff. He guys want a long axe? I mean, who doesn't want a fucking long axe? Things are amazing. A generous bestowal. Mr. Buster Friendly. A sub and a donation. Thank you. We'll make you that militiaman in about one second here. 196 tools. And 49 food is excellent. Jesus, the furs are good too. But this place just has good prices. What do they want? Where is the Nylon? Where is this? Day to the West. Is that where we started? It is. It's kind of where we're going, too. Two-handed flail. They buffed two-handed flails. I have no idea if they're any good anymore. Yeah. Well, appreciate the, uh, the sentiment. I mean, I had a lot of fun making those guides. Glad they've been helpful. Mr. Buster Friendly. All right. You can be Buster Friendly, no Mr. Or you can be Mr. Buster. What's your preference? I like Mr. Buster. But, uh, character limits, sorry. I'm so tempted to buy that. It's such the wrong move, but it's, it'd be so nice. Okay. Uh, do we want any of these? We've got a runner. This is another cheap runner. I want trade goods, and this does have trade goods, and I want to head south. So I think we're buying both the furs. I think I'm buying both the tools, and I'm definitely buying that food. All right, we will probably take that mission and then teleport out of here, I think is the dream. We'll swing by here. Maybe not. Running missions back and forth like this tends to be a very inefficient use of your early game time if you're not seeing enemies on the roads. 
Brigands. Fucking right. Humanoid mission. Great right now. We have another runner. Mm. I mean, we certainly have more people who could do the running. 80 bucks seems like a pretty good investment for that. This guy's a dastard, so he doesn't care about sitting out all the time. This new guy has triple melee stars. Well, that will help him hit with his uh, club, I'm sure. I don't know about that five armor. Certainly not getting a hat. Hats are earned! Alright. Let's follow this guy around. Any trade goods here? Yeah, but really shitty price still. Food's not very well priced either. Okay. Rather a pike than an axe? No, not really. I mean, the early, I mean, early game accuracy for sure, but the axe is a better weapon overall. Just uh, more versatile. Alright. So we're set up for what we want to do here. Let's hope there's no range in that. There isn't. They're all thugs. Let's go. To arms it is. Okay. Alright, unfortunately their weapons all suck. So we'd love to break the rest of the team and dagger that guy, but it's not very exciting. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have paused here. I should have moved to spread out. I might not be able to spread them out at all now, just... Actually, almost a perfect split here. So we've got three coming down this way. The only downside of this is um, the guy we don't want to kill is moving towards us, which means we will kill him first. Yeah. Do I want? Do I want to mess around with this hill? Kind of. Still just spear, spear. Spears are good for accuracy, but not good damage. They may not move into us, though. They don't. They are a little cognizant of the hills. Could leave that hill. They might attempt to take that repeatedly. Also could just leave this guy up there and get the first round of attacks off. These things aren't super dangerous. These guys have already gone. I don't hate it. I don't have to lose this guy this this round. Oh, I missed my attack and this guy being out of order. Ugh. All Need them breaking. So I like his gear. There's no particularly great way to get his gear. He doesn't do any damage. We've got some armor up for that cleaver. That guy doesn't do any damage either. So those are not scary. The axes are a little bit dangerous. They're coming in over here. You don't really want to give up the high ground. Got a dagger in this guy's pocket. We could move over and switch to dagger and try to break him. Could also just stab that. We're going to lose our high ground as doing anything next round. And they might move all the way around. So... I think I'm leaving him there. We 
Wish this guy had a dagger. Uh, these things might consider running. This is no longer a threat. Problem here is I want those. We are gonna do armor damage. I do want that. Oh, I'm not fast enough. So the one I wanted, I just let go. Because I'm out of stamina to reach there, I could have split the diff I could have split the middle and gone there. That's really annoying. <laughs> I think music cats the yeah that's club footed that just cost us that I'm pretty sure. anti-humanoid approach what is your approach just if you watch any of the um, early game guy videos for these the essential uh, the early game is about acquiring gear and the most efficient way to acquire gear is by fighting sl slowly slowly more progress god damn I can't believe we're letting the armor walk away it's so annoying uh, by fighting progressively more dangerous humanoid opponents that's so annoying. All right. Well, we outsparted ourselves there. So what we want to see early are like thugs and raiders, preferably a mix. Uh, we've got another cripple there that we could hire, but we've got quite a lot of cripples already. Promotions on the core team. So now the question is, where do we want to go? So there's a good trade good there, and we haven't visited this village yet. This village is kind of in the middle of nowhere, and this area where we're at is not good for early game leveling. Um, I really think the uh, raiders are better. Raiders and nomads are better than um, barbarians to begin with, right? So that means we could come down here. Kind gesture. We can interact with two of those three towns. Generally, heavy hills, heavy forests are kind of garbage for us. Or we could head over here. Same issue, though. This terrain is not very good. Am I doing blind seeds? This is the seed we played last time. Uh, thank you, Minijo. Or we could come down south. There's going to be a mix of raiders and nomads in this area. We could get access to the arena. I don't want to go. I don't want to go all in on the arena. Because I don't think these characters are powerful enough to fight some of the early fights. But it is a nice source of golden income. Uh, we should also do level ups. Which I'm pretty sure is Colossus on everybody these days. So let's do that. Alright. And what are we doing with these characters? 
arenas are part of a DLC? Yes. Yep. Uh, I have a character for Minijo. I've got my two runners. Are we naming runners? The list is not that full. We could wait for the um, the first non-runner character if you want. I'm okay with that. So yeah, add Minijo to the list if you wouldn't mind. Oh, well, Uridite. These weapons were not real weapons, any of them. All right, so Mr. Buster rolled three, three, four, and four there. We do need one resolve, but four stam is really good. Let's grab that. Although, is it bad that I just want to make every single early game person a zero stam brother? I like all the things about Zero Stam. Just looking through our pieces here. Look at those rolls. I mean, this could be banner material, right? light on stam is all oh that's initiative not resolve yeah there's a high potential of wanting dodge on this character although leveling initiative is still a scam even with dodge so is that enough starting initiative to be relevant 110 it's a kind of a mid range isn't it maybe it's top of the range I've forgotten Is it egotistical to be like, I feel like I've forgotten more than, like, I know so much about this fucking game. I've played so many hours of this game, but I've forgotten so much about it too. <laughs> uh, hey, it's Light. Thanks for the resub. How am I liking it thus far? Um, it's a small DLC. It's a free DLC. It's not a ton of content. Um, I'm not expecting it to change a whole lot of anything until the late game, honestly. Yep, just Rusty for sure. Other guy has resolve. Yeah, but these stats are not are not fucking banner stats. There's, there's much more valuable places to place these stats than bannering. In fact, these stats are some of the easiest to assign as well. Although here I am a little tempted to grab that six initiative here. Six initiative we decided was one melee defense, right? Like one point something. Or point seven five even. It was really bad. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. Thanks to the five gifted subs. Can we make sure uh it's like gets um tickets for those, please, Nobu? So this is either three resolve or six initiative. What do you guys want here? We will need resolve rolls, but that's not a very exciting resolve rolls. Ah, that's okay, Bruno. No need to apologize for that. I'm really glad you're enjoying them. Never win. That's what I made them for. I love the idea that uh, people are still finding and using those. Thank you, uh, Mighty Conjurum. Is three a high roll? Four is a high roll. Yeah, exactly. Transylvanian. That's what it's worth once we get dodge before that. It's not even worth that. I 
All right, uh, we're gonna grab Colossus early because Colossus OP. Nobu the Undertaker, what is she getting? Melee attack. Did Darkest Dungeon 2 fall off? Um, Darkest Dungeon 2 is not released yet. I don't know if that factors into the calculations or not. It's still in early access. It doesn't have a lot of content yet. So, I think it's just you. Do we want melee defense here? We do not have melee defense stars. There will not be a lot of melee defense. Early melee defense is good. I think I will grab melee defense here. All right, and Mr. Buster. Damn, these rolls are good. It's very low starting uh, fatigue. I do need probably two resolve rolls on this guy. No, I did not throw away everything that people liked about the first one. It's not a completely different type of game. The stagecoach instead of room corridors does not change the entirety of that game it just doesn't have a lot of content yet it's very early and early access it's great they've released what they've released but there's a lot of work to be done before it's a full playable game getting really off topic here though i guess i could let you guys argue about it and not put my two cents in there but i played a lot of darkest dungeon 2 already and it's it's a really nice start of a game i'm looking forward to what comes out of it we will be checking in on it throughout the roadmap of development And you got to think again, you got to think about the upside of something like Darkest Dungeon 2, right? Which is, it is not the exact same game again. It is a similar style game with some changes to it that the devs have done out of love of making games and love of the gameplay experience. That's a huge plus rather than someone just trying to capitalize on the success of their previous title. That gives me a lot of hope for what it will become. So I'm actually really excited about Darkest Dungeon 2 just kind of need to put your expectations down the road a bit for an early access game. This is going to be Colossus again. I want my early game people dying. All right. Okay. How's my day going so far? It's going all right. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Are we teleporting out now? We, I'd like to get this friendly civilian faction thing going so I can get the next ambition. This seems like a reasonable place to do it. This is the same mission we just had, which is basically go back to the location we were just at. That isn't necessarily the worst. Okay. And it is possible to get another fight out of this, although it's very likely to be barbs, not anything useful. Uh, we at 50 or 45. I think we're at 50 long-term WoW. But very early game characters, you relax that a little bit. And we still have access to things like Arena. And um, I don't, I'm sure there's a resolve-based potion somewhere. I don't want to go all the way back up there. It's a full day. We're day four. We haven't seen a raider yet. I'd really like to go somewhere else, but I'd like friendly faction. I could get friendly faction somewhere else. It just costs me cash when I'm not negotiating repeatedly. I think I would like to come down here. But this is where my trade goods are, right there, in this city. And we also found out that, what city was it where all the cheap stuff was? How does never be confident uh, factor into morale? It makes morale very slightly more important since you can only get the tier before confident to protect yourself from morale losses. It hurts real bad. It definitely hurts real bad, but I don't think it makes you invest much more heavily in Resolve. There's Jerstal, thanks. Thank you, Mini Morphe, for the 56 months. It makes us the weakest origin in the game. 
There's no way this is weaker than Manslayers. Ah! I don't want to be in this fucking area of the woods. Alright, we're going to get friendly tasks and leave this area. Could use one more character would be nice. But... I'm cheap, so we aren't. 390 caravan hand, not bad though. Okay. There it is. There's the renown for taking the contract. Great. I wonder if I would have got that anyways. I don't think so, but I could have checked. Don't scare off the newbies. You play on any difficulty you want. You can play with saves and loads, and you can play with um, any of the starting factions. And there's a bunch of different ways to scale the difficulty. The game is a punishing game by design. You're supposed to lose, die, have uh, runs get crashed, etc. As you learn the fights, they'll get easier. Um, you don't have to spend this much time thinking about every one of your moves. It's just about optimization. At this, pay, this stage, we've played so many games that mostly what I enjoy about this is the accelerated starts. Those are a ranged weapon. I really like these ranged weapons. I just don't want to get drilled by fucking this stuff to begin with. Okay. Losing is fun. Don't know if I'd go that far, but it's certainly part of the process. I'm a little annoyed how well those dogs just tanked me. And this guy just blocked my exit path. This is not a weapon I really wanted to bring in here for this fight. Um, I think we're backing up. This is my most armored guy though. Shit. Should have probably just bashed and ran. These are cleavers. I want these throwing weapons. Just taking about all the damage we can take in there. Need to move this gear around too. One of the spears needs to have the heavy armor. You have returned. How does Nobu, after Colossus, have 57 HP? Can I get that moved? Thank you, Boltazar. Oh no, his stamina is not enough to actually move. No. Filthy high. Hey, Ibaka. Looks like 18 months. Don't want to give this guy a free throw on us. It's probably like there. Can't get there. Could run up this way, but we're still in range of like dogs and that guy. There's no great spot for this.
peasants tanking for me is great. Not terribly excited about my spears running away. My javelins, rather. Could have got below him and trapped him in combat, but I really didn't want to get below him. I don't know if dogs run. I don't think we can catch up to him, but we'll try. Yeah. Sad dog noises. The the dog, which is an attack dog, a trained manhunter, just downed poor old Gerald the cripple, mawed him to death, took out his kneecap, and you're sad about the dog making some hurt noises as it gets killed? I mean, it's good you have empathy for animals, I guess. Okay. It's the nine lives moment. Doubtful. I feel like adrenaline really helps these guys when you screw up their ordering. Yeah. I'm not even sure I want this guy to live. He's probably using up my medicine right now. And in the grand scheme of filthy robot calculations, uh, medicine greater than person, greater than dog, greater than farmers. That's me. Okay. Uh, looking at this, some ranged weapons would be nice. Remind me, ranged weapons include bag calculations or no? I get the one set of throwing weapons, boo. And we wanted this one of the spears now. So nine. So this guy definitely wants the better armor. Is that true? He's low stam. He wants his hat switched out. Okay. Greater than can. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. No, he. You guys can't just count his kneecaps as he survived. The dog thought he was dead. Okay. All right, we want a battle standard, probably. How does the dog know that? Well, that's the reason why he lived. Is the dog didn't know that? No longer suffers from cut muscles. Okay. 
All right, we're wasting a lot of fucking time on this. So, ceremonial season, well supplied. Another mission. Southeast, near the region of Norththirst. Well, if I don't know where the region of North Thirst is, and I don't know where the event, the location is, that seems like a pretty good idea not to do that. All right, do we want to take this mission? We know it's up here. We know the, the tavern rumor last time said it was Northwest, or not last time, last time we we're in the city, said it's Northwest, which is right there. If we take that one, we'll get rid of Terrified Villagers. This uh, well-supplied buff is actually not very good for us right now. It makes all the things more expensive in the city. We don't really want these to be more expensive. We could otherwise gotten trade goods at a decent price. Um. Yeah. North Thirst is west. Find Lair of the Power Hungry not far to the southeast. I mean, it's west. No, you're probably just reading the fact that north is part of like 9,000 things over here, right? There's a Nordlands here. There's another one in a North Thirst, a North Thirst right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Well, the text of the mission tells us it's southeast. The location's there. Okay. All right. Well, do you guys want to go fight? Probably scrubs in the snow, uh, nachos in the snow. With four dudes. Probably. The skeletons were fucked. It's neither, it's bandits. Uh, Alright, anything we can do to make that more likely to be sweet for us? Uh, I guess we'd rather pay the cripple. We'd rather keep the level 1 cripple alive. Then the level two, so we have to pay upkeep on the level two. Yeah. How do I see it's bandit so fast? It's a mod. Uh, what do we want to do with this? I think we're pretty content with this right now. I kind of want to bring that net in case it's raiders. So it is mostly thugs, although they're pretty well armored thugs. It's a tier 2 dagger and a tier 2... two tier 2 flails, I think? And a lot of wind noise. Is this a new addition from the DLC? Alright, that is a oppressive... I think this is ambiance or effects. Neither seem to do it at all. Alright, now it sounds like I'm inside watching a blizzard. Alright. We want to make sure some of these weapons make it to us. Try cranking it up to full. 
Yeah, could do that. before he gets shield wall. A generous beast of yeah. Just headshot there is interesting. We can maybe even do damage there. Just kidding. Alright, so these guys break. We should get checks on them. There we go. Next little ways to 10 bucks. Alright, so that guy could be damage to the head. This guy we just want to stab to death. They both are untouched armor. We're gonna lose the runner, but the runner's job is to die. This is maybe too greedy. That was a headshot, so we probably picked that up. All right, so that bought us the time to switch back to our weapon, which I appreciate. back up and switch to a spear or even the throwing weapon if we wanted to I don't want to get caught here guy's waiting to move in. This guy hasn't gone yet. I would like to kill him. Uh, this is the heavy armored helm. So if we walk there, we will get hit once. I think it's worth. Yeah, definitely worth. You have returned. Number goes up. Number goes up, Blade of Tycon. Thank you. Blade of Tycon. No D in there. So we're going to eat one of these attacks. He might roundhouse if we leave him open there. Hit his own guy. Uh, we've got good body armor here. And okay head armor and the best HP on the team. I think it's actually better to move in here. Goes my tier two dagger. If only we had net dogs, indeed. We do have a net, but we're never going to be in position to use it. Guy's faster than everybody, so he gets out here. I think, unless he stands out. But they have more stam than us, so it seems unlikely he'll stam out, but maybe. One tile. Okay. Alright. Garolf the Broken. 
survives. Got the flails and one of the armors. And some levels. Runner hero. He's something. Could be retired. This could be our... We could pay him out. He's only level two. Get access to our sergeant. All right, so level ups again. Worth doing in a minute. I don't know if I can be bothered right at the second, but I just want to see how they rolled. All right, let's go get paid and get out of this area. I want to go south, get there before nightfall, please. Thank you. 